It's September 1st, 2018. I'm on my way to the summit for a sunrise. So stick around, I'm planning on doing a time lapse. Crystal clear skies up here. Right now it's about 44 degrees Fahrenheit, pretty cold. Uh, beautiful morning up here, just beautiful. It's not windy right here. Hopefully it won't be windy up there. Okay. Stay tuned. Aloha. Okay, it's now just after 5 a.m. And you can barely see it starting to get light. And I just did a photobomb on the Time lapse. It's windy up here. It's freezing. Down there is Hilo. That's the airport runway. It should be spectacular up here. I already have stills that I took last time I was up here. Um, and they're on Smug Mug if you want to take a look at them. Alright, I gotta get back in. I'm shaking. I'm so cold. Let me see if you can see the stars. Don't know. Don't know if you can see the telescope roof. Oh, it's going to be beautiful, you guys. Okay, i got to get back in. Okay, it's now about um, 5.20. Starting to get spectacular. I'm standing behind the Hawaii-French-Canada telescope. Don't know if you can see it. Nope. And um, sorry if this is going to be shaky, but I'm freezing and I can't get my shakiness under control. So pretty much words cannot describe this. the wind that makes it horrible. Okay, I gotta get in the truck. <laughs> okay, made it back in the truck. Oh, it feels good in here. Um, let's see if I can zoom into Hilo down there. Oops, sorry. I think that's the hood of my truck. Yeah, that's the airport down there. That's the runway. Um, yeah. Spectacular.
I'm not going to take any stills on this because um, I already did. Okay. I don't know if you can see that lone star up there. I don't know who that is. But I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, it's now 524. And it's starting to get spectacular. Just spectacular. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, it's now 5.32. Um, changes are awesome. The colors are getting awesome. Um, you can actually start to see Hilo Bay. That's Hilo Bay down there. It's showing up in the camera, so I think you guys can see it. And um, I'm actually with my friends from Michigan. So it's a privilege being able to take them up here. <laughs> They've actually been following the video, so that's always cool. I sure hope these colors are showing up. <laughs> okay, more to come. Don't know if you guys can see the uh, streaks in the sky. They're wide, very wide streaks. That's the only way I can describe them. Going from the lower left to the upper right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kind of cold out there, isn't it? I'll deal with that in November. Brian, look at those, you see those streaks up there? They're like real wide streaks going bottom, left, to upper, right. What? They're like diagonal. Phone is saying that it's really loud. No, no. You can talk, you guys. No. Watch the cloak, bro. Watch the what? In the camera. Yeah. The glow. Oh. It just went. Mm. Okay, it's now 5.37 a.m. Uh, it's starting to be incredible up here. You can actually start to see Hilo Bay down there. Let me see if I can 
zoom in. And I'm sitting in the truck because it's so cold out there. Okay, I'm now standing again behind the Hawaii Canada French Telescope, which is that. And that's the Keck Observatories up there, the double bubble. You can see that um, that one has its window open. The shiny one next to it is a NASA telescope. That's an infrared. And then that silver one is a Subaru. I uh, can see Maui from here. That's that mountain right there. And it is Wow. It's pretty steep up there. starting to shake so I'm going to set you on this post here hopefully that will help that's Hilo Bay let's go into the airport again Now, someone asked me to record the this telescope, and I can't remember if it's Hawaii, Canada, France, or France, Canada, Hawaii, or Canada, Canada, Hawaii, France. But the windows open up there. So let's uh, let's just walk around to the front door and see what it says. That's the Gemini up there, Gemini Observatory. Okay, there's no sign, so... Let's be 
becoming spectacular. Okay, I gotta get back in the truck. Okay, you guys, I just noticed this. This. That's the seawall up there that we can see all the way here at the summit in Hilo Bay. I've never seen that before up here. That's Hilo. And uh, here we are, it's 5.52. Still pretty, but not as uh, dramatic as it was a few minutes ago. Here's another thing that just noticed. That's a mushroom cloud coming from um, the area of Volcanoes National Park. Last time I was up here, it was determined that that was from the wildfires on the slopes of Mauna Loa. And uh, I'm thinking that might be what we're seeing now here as well so don't know for sure just wanted to let you guys see what we see up here oh that's the GoPro doing in time lapse by the way inside the Subaru telescope. Hello. It's really windy the way I'm facing, um, but it's really beautiful. I'm going to walk over here. And it's really cold. And I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> Ice just fell down. Oh, hey, it's turning. It's turning. Okay, that's cool. Let's go back over here. I don't know if you can hear me, of course. Okay. That is Maui. And I think from where we're standing, it's about 90, 93 miles from the tip over there. Look at the layer, the color. That looks exactly like what you're seeing up here. And I'm so sorry, I'm shaking.
down there is the Kohala Coast. Let's see if I can find it. That's Kauai Harbor. Right there. Oh man. I'm so sorry, you guys. Let's put you on a post. Okay. As much as I hate it, I gotta get back in. Okay, it's now 6.02 from the comfort of the truck. I'm pretty sure that poof of smoke down there is from the wildfire. Beautiful. Okay, you guys, this is one of the other things that I've been waiting for. The shadow of the mountain that we're on is right there. Let's see here. That is the shadow of Mauna Kea. Sorry I can't see out here, but I am just shaking. Um, and that's the coastline, believe it or not. But that is spectacular. Okay. Okay, you guys, we're on our way down. I'm gonna, I'm trying to do a time lapse on the way down, so we'll see what happens. But I wanted to show you this. We're, these are cinder cones up here close to the summit of Mauna Kea. Um, yeah, and that's Mauna Loa over there. If you look, well, I can zoom in. Yeah. Shh. Um, that line that you see right there is the NOAA weather observatories. That's at the 11,000 foot level above sea level. <laughs> didn't sound right and um, sorry about this but that mountain over there that's Hualalai that sits near Kona that stands at over 8,000 feet high and I'm here with my friends Brian and Nancy from Michigan um, there's that smoke cloud up there and again I think it's the the wildfires happening. Okay. I'm sure I'll be stopping on the way down again because it's so beautiful up here. It's a beautiful morning down here. We're probably around 10,000 feet. No, 11,000 feet up. Um, making our way down, you can see all these the cinder cones from up here
up that hill. That is the parking area at um, Mauna Kea Summit Road and Saddle Road intersection. Okay, aloha. Okay, there's some uh, smoke up there and I don't like speculating of course, but to me that looks like ocean entry plume or something. Um, or maybe it's just steam off from the fissures down there in the lower east rift zone. It sure is spectacular up here. See if I can see this. Hmm. That's the visitor center at the 9200 foot level. Mauna Kea Visitor Information Station. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed your time up here on the summit. Hope you enjoy your September 1st, September 2nd, and other parts of the world. Aloha. I'm at 6,600 feet right now at the parking lot at uh, the Mauna Kea Access Road. It's now about 7.30 and uh, we got a ram in action or whatever it is. I don't know what they're doing. Yes, I do. Anyways, we were way up there. Oh, just because the first few times we got around here, we go up there. All those cinder cones. Okay, it's getting noisy down here. Oh, 
Aloha.